Hello and welcome back to Ali Cricket Review. Today we've got an informational video about the SA80 bayonet. So the SA80 bayonet um, was made um, in conjunction with the SA80 A1 and A2. Um, also now works with the A3, so otherwise known as the L85 A3. Um, basically all it does is clips on the end, open the muzzle, okay, clips on the air, uh, onto the end of the rifle and can be used for close combat and hand to hand. Obviously, the bayonet is a last resort, and you know if you need to be using one of these, it's literally a life or death moment. Um, it is an awesome piece of kit. Um, pretty hefty blade on there, quite thick, um, nice and weighty, but not too heavy, so it's not going to make the rifle top end heavy. Um, it's got blood channels either side, so obviously when you pierce into the body, um, it doesn't create a vacuum, and you can pull back out again. Um, it's got the slots there for exactly the same reason nice sharp blade uh, up to a point on there as well okay and it can also be used as a survival knife so it's not just the bayonet it can be used as a knife as well so the s80 bayonet comes with a scabbard okay this is the utility scabbard so it can be used as a survival knife combo um, this one has a sharpening stone on the edge there it can also be used as wire cutters and also a saw so, open the saw all the way up. Okay, it just slots into the top there. And can, it's nice and sharp. Can be used for cutting down wood, uh, making, you know, logs, uh, anything for the fire, or anything that you might you need to use the saw for. So that's that, just on its own. Um, it's still a bit, uh, you know, a fairly heavy piece of kit. It will do um, the right amount of damage to the log, um, and will definitely work as a saw. Obviously, like I said, the other use of this is that it will have wire cutters. Okay, basically what you do, attach the bayonet through this slot here onto the peg. Okay, and then twist it around like that. You know, that's your wire cutter there. So obviously the metal triangle blade on there. Okay, and then the top of the bayonet. Used for your wire cutters, bolt cutters. Okay, a bit of a pain in the backside to get that back off the the hook but that's the bayonet and the scabbard okay and obviously like i said sharpening stone on there and the bayonet literally just slots in and it's held in there nice and easy quick to hand just pull it back out again ready for use and then obviously the outer scabbard as well okay so this is the bayonet frog the scabbard will slot in there clip onto the top and then you put your bayonet in there in there and it's held nice nice camouflage pattern this is the new frogs um so obviously the old patterns would have had the the dpm um or maybe not even at all you know i've seen some literally just put the bayonet through the molly on the body armor you know but it's either personal preference or what you're allowed to do so bayonets aren't used as much anymore especially now we're not in uh, any combat uh theaters but you know, it's still there, it's still a vital piece of kit, and a kit that every soldier is trained on in the basic training. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Any questions, just let me know. And please like, subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed. See you later.